What is going on everyone? We are back with another potential test in MLB 16, the show. Today we take a player, put him through five seasons to see if he will live up to his potential. And today's test subject is going to be the giant Aaron Judge, 6'7", 230 pounds. He is a 23-year-old right fielder, can also play first base, and he has got some pretty good starting numbers. The contact's low in the 40s, but the power is already mid-60s. Discipline is good at 75, durability at 78. His arm strength and arm accuracy are good. Fielding is okay, but that will improve. He's going to start angry, so he's actually a true 75. So we'll keep that into consideration as we enter season number one. Let's see, what's he going to go up to? 74. So again, we'll take a look at the morale in a second. But plus three to contact versus righties, four for lefties, plus five to power versus righties, three to lefties, plus one to vision, minus three to discipline, plus two to clutch, three to bunt, three to drag bunt, two to durability, four to fielding, two to arm strength, three to arm accuracy, and two to reaction. Minus five to stealing. That is a, a big drop. But look at this. Didn't even notice. Put 10 drop down to a B so first season in already they're thinking he is not an A potential so we don't like to see that 130 games played 47 runs 104 hits 18 home runs 63 RBIs and a 222 average not the best uh, first season but we've seen much worse he has the power he's showing the power he got the 63 RBIs but the average not quite there he is still going to be angry so he actually did go up three in his base overall from the 75 to his 78 and he is we see this a lot in the second year he's expecting a much better contract so that will improve here now season number two let's see what he's going to jump to up to a 78 okay so plus three to contact for Versus righties, seven for lefties, two to power versus righties, minus four versus lefties, plus two division, three to discipline, and a clutch, three to bunt. 2 to drag bunt, 3 to durability, 2 to fielding, arm strength, 3 to arm accuracy, and 3 to reaction, and another minus 5 to stealing. So the steals go in the wrong direction here. Not that that's very important for this guy. 6'7", I don't think a 6'7 guy is going to be stealing too many bases, but the uh, numbers looking okay. Not really any crazy changes so far. The power going down, that's definitely not something we want to see. The potential is still going to be holding at a B. I don't know if that will go back up. I don't know if we've ever really seen the potential go down and then go back up, but looking at his numbers for the season... He is going to play in 136 games. He has 61 runs scored, 128 hits, 21 home runs, 65 RBIs, and a 247 average. So he improves every single stat across the board. So that is what we like to see in that second season. 24 years old now, so still is really, really young. So we have some time here to let him develop. But let's take a look at the morale now. And he is still going to be unhappy. So he went up. That is only two. He's up to an 80. So not quite as big of a jump from the prior season, but he is getting dropped down too. Still really happy with the contract. These players normally never really happy about their contract but let's move on now season number three midway point here what is he let's see a big jump here we got to see a big jump up to an 82 that is a big jump so plus five to contact versus righties minus one to lefties plus eight to his power versus righties minus eight though for lefties plus two division plus eight to discipline three to clutch two to bunt and drag bunt three to durability two to fielding and arm strength and arm accuracy and reaction minus one to speed first time we've seen speed touched and then minus two to stealing again steals goes down but still, uh, some again, some good improvements. We don't like to see the minuses in the uh, contact and power, but he plays 139 games, 517 at-bats, 61 runs, 114 hits, 23 home runs, 67 RBIs, and a 2-2-1 average. So the home runs and the RBIs get better, but the average back down. He is just satisfied, so goes up two in his base overall. So we're getting some small gains here these last couple seasons, but still, he's 82 overall, still just 25 years old. We got a lot of time. On to season number four. Two more seasons to go. He is going to be an 87. There is the big jump we were looking for, as it's going to be plus four to contact versus righties, nine to lefties, plus one to power versus righties, no change for lefties, plus one to vision, two to discipline, three to clutch, two to bunt and drag bunt, two to durability, two to fielding, arm strength, arm accuracy, and then three to reaction, plus four to his base run, running aggression, no change for speed or stealing. So there are some nice improvements. Power versus lefty not changing is, is a bit peculiar, but still all pluses for the power in contact. 139 games played, 66 runs, 135 hits, 21 home runs, 70 RBIs, two stolen bases, first two stolen bases of his career, and a 253 average. So the average goes way up there. That's a nice jump. The home runs sit, sitting there right around 20. The RBI is a career high at 70, so a nice season. And finally, he is happy. He went up three in his base overall, picking up an extra two to get him up to 87 and actually a B potential 87 not bad but here we go final season what's he gonna end that 89 and the potential trending down again still a B but plus five to contact versus ready's minus one to lefties plus one to power versus ready minus three to lefties minus four to vision minus two to discipline plus one to clutch no change to bone durability no change to fielding plus one arm strength no change to arm accuracy plus one to reaction minus one to speed minus one to steal so a bit of a disappointing look but there is a reason for some of the non-changes he got hurt during the season and this is disappointing because 
because he had played every single season, only getting hurt here in this final 113 games, 65 runs, 122 hits, 22 home runs, 64 RBIs, and a 286 average. He actually was hitting really well, but the injury is going to cost him some time, and I think cost him uh, a little bit more growth that he maybe could have gotten if not for that. He is ecstatic, so he went up another two points, which means his base overall did not change in this fifth season. So this injury really, really did derail him. He is an 89. So looking at his overalls, the mid-60s contact, not great. The power versus right is at 83. That is awesome. 54, though, for lefties. That is not good. The vision isn't great. Discipline's good. Clutch is not great. Durability is great. His fielding ability, his arm strength, arm accuracy is really good. The injury, obviously, is really going to throw a wrench into this whole thing because I think he was trending very nicely in those first four seasons for being a B potential. Uh, an 89 overall is really, really good. 105 home runs, 329 RBIs, a career 245 hitter. Uh, I don't think you really need to worry about the injuries with him because I think he, he's got really good durability, 88 durability, so I really don't think the injuries really are going to play a part. But it is a bit bothersome that after the first season, his potential dropped. He didn't have a horrible season in that first year, so I'm not really sure what it is that causes potentials to drop. So maybe it was just a fluke. If I did this again, maybe he wouldn't drop and maybe he'd grow a little bit more. But Aaron Judge, I think if you're playing as the Yankees, he's definitely a good option. I think he could develop into a pretty good player. Uh, if you're not playing as the Yankees, I'd maybe catch, keep an eye excuse me, on his potential because if it does drop again, that would make him an incredibly cheaper player to trade for. So that's somewhere if he is a uh, B after one year, maybe go out and get him because as a, a pretty flexible right fielder, outfielder, first baseman, he has some flexibility for you in your lineup, and I think he could develop as an absolute monster. He is a monster, 6'7", um, but I think he can develop some power, be a pretty good home run hitting, RBI uh, producing guy. Not necessarily going to hit for average, but I think he can definitely be a solid, solid guy in anyone's lineup. So Aaron Judge, you are going to be done with this potential test. As always, if you want to see anyone in a future episode, leave a comment down below. Give me a name, and I will use them in a future test. But that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.